Well, you know, I've been always been a big proponent of budget action cameras for those out there that can't afford like the GoPro or the DJI Action 3 or Insta products. But let's talk about the V50X, the 2023 version. Yeah, it's got some issues. Now, before I go into great detail about this, let's show some side-by-side -side comparisons of the new 2023 version against the old original version of the V50X. All right, the new Acaso from 2023 versus the old Acaso from, I believe, 2019. Really curious to see how the uh, image quality is because I've had a lot of viewers that were saying, and it was actually uh, Michael from Tech For All that first told me about the uh, Acaso V50X having an issue with the newer models that they cheapen up the internals. And, well, we're going to see. 4K. 30 frames per second, both cameras. And a quick little audio test. The old one, one, two, three, four, five, and the new one. First told me about the uh, Kelso. What the heck was that? Sound like the chipmunks. Let me show you what it looks like on my editing program. All right, the new Kelso from 2023 versus the old Kelso from late 2019. So as you can hear, it sounds like absolute trash. For some reason, the audio and the video, it's not, it's not a little bit out of sync. It's way out of sync. Now there's going to be some people that say, Andre, don't pixel peep. But you know, I've got to because the image is just so really just bad on the new V50X compared to the original. So we're going to do some pixel peeping, just looking around to see how bad is it. Because it almost looks like it's 1080p that's been upscaled on this one. You know, I will say it is a very pretty day today, which was a great day to go out and go test these two cameras side by side. And let's just take a look at some more footage side by side of both of these cameras, the old versus the new, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So short of taking the camera apart to see what the internals are on it, obviously something has changed. Either the processing chip, the sensor, I'm going to go with the processing chip, but something's changed about it. I've been a big proponent for the Acaso V50X because it was under $100 and it gave you true native 4K and the stabilization was pretty good. Audio wasn't all that great, but all in all for a budget action camera, it hit a lot of check marks that were good. This 2023 model, it's got a lot of problems. Acaso, I don't know what you're doing. I really wish that the budget action camera market would get back into the game and start producing some quality cameras for the money to compete with the big boys. But then there's that old saying, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. <laughs> 